to read the prayer for the day. We pray for continued blessings and watchfulness over the concerns of this state. Continue to uphold its officials as well as its citizens in the weeks, months, and years ahead. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Mounds. It's a, a, a difficult choice to pick among all of the outstanding members uh, that we have here, uh, but I think I will ask uh, our Majority Leader, Senator Duff, and our uh, Minority Leader, Senator Fasano, to come forward to lead us in the pledge. Thank you, gentlemen. It is uh, the last time this chamber was on March 11th, uh, the day that we passed the bonding bill. And uh, after that, we have not had, we've had a suspension of all activities here since, and has been a unique and extraordinary and terribly painful time uh, that uh, continues. But we believe that it was appropriate for us to end the session uh, formally by having this brief ceremony on the day in which we traditionally go sine die and end the regular session. Uh, this is uh, an extraordinary time in so many other ways, uh, one of which is because uh, our distinguished Republican leader, Senator Fasano, has announced that he is not going to seek another term, uh, something about which we are all deeply disappointed, and uh, wanted to pay tribute to him here first that uh, his service here over the last 18 years has been superb. He has been a model of a statesman legislator, someone who has been thoughtful, a good colleague, a strong advocate for his positions and his party's positions, but someone who always respected the traditions of this chamber um, and the General Assembly. And uh, we hope that we'll be back in this chamber again uh, before the end of this term, and that we'll have other opportunities to do things and actually pass some legislation, but just in terms of the last day of the regular session, I wanted to briefly comment on just the uh, superb career that he has had here uh, that we all celebrate regardless of party. So at this point, I will uh, recognize any members for, for comments uh, before calling upon our distinguished majority leader uh, to read the consent down. No, I mean, uh, call for a CNT. <laughs> Senator Fazano. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, Senator Looney. Uh, thank you for your very, very kind words, and it's been an honor and privilege to serve with you um, throughout the years in the chamber, and particularly uh, as Senate President and being able to work with you on a bunch of bipartisan bills that we worked out together, not only vis-a-vis -vis the chamber, but also in the uh, area of health care. And uh, some of the legislation we worked on has made its way throughout the country, and I want to thank you very, very much for that. So once again, Thank you for your kind words. I know we do have a large consent calendar for today, um, but I gotta tell you, it's very eerie to be in this building on the last day of session and it's empty. You know, this is historic in a number of ways. I don't know if there's been a legislative session in which no bills were passed. I don't think there has been, at least as far as my research tells. And uh, I'm honored to serve in an area when we had 18, 18 time, we were able to pass bills. And in this day with the COVID virus, we weren't able to pass any legislation. So it's a very, very unique year. So Mr. President, with that, I wish everyone the best, stay well, stay safe. And I'm sure we will be back at some time, summer or fall to finish some of the items that we were not able to do. And thank you again for your kind words. Thank you, Mr. President, and it is an interesting day uh, for sure to be here. Um, it's about 4 o'clock, 4.15 right now, so we would probably be starting to compile the consent calendar for the evening. 
while House members were racing up here uh, telling us which pieces of legislation they wanted to get through and asking us why we're uh, not further along as they would like us to be and while we're in the back putting together what we would hope to be a uh, rather long uh, consent calendar that we would uh, race through at probably 11.55 p.m. tonight, which I have to admit, uh, as Majority Leader, is always one of my favorite parts of the evening when we get to run through that entire list and get it done by midnight. Um, so it's, it's sad that we're not able to do that tonight under the present circumstances, but I'm glad that we're able to be here today to uh, recognize Senator Fasano for his good work over 18 years here in this building. Um, I, when he first came in, I was still in the House, and then after that came up to the Senate and as soon as Senator Pisano came uh, to be a member of the circle, even as a member of the House, uh, he was well known to be someone who you could work with, uh, someone uh, who uh, really would listen uh, and who would compromise and try to move forward legislation, not somebody who's, who was never viewed as an obstructionist, never viewed as uh, somebody who had a... Uh, to uh, a philosophical bent too far where we would not be able to be pragmatic and work through the issues as we knew them. Um, then becoming a leader and continuing to work with Senator Pisano in different ways, uh, we have uh, become friends and uh, been, again, working through so many of the important issues for the state, whether it's budgetary issues or other pieces of legislation and uh, working with you, sir, has been a pleasure, and I appreciate your friendship and your guidance and your mentorship in many ways. And I, the building will be, um, will be a little less uh, without you and for your institutional knowledge, your respect of this chamber, your respect of the institution and our policymaking role that we have, uh, and how uh, we, as a circle, we look out for each other um, as, a, as a body, not just merely as Democrats or Republicans, but we look at, a, look at each other from a standpoint of the Senate and what uh, we should do as a Senate. And I hope that in the future uh, those traditions continue, uh, that the, your, the, your successor and all of our successors at some point will always remember to protect the body and to protect the institution. And I think if uh, outside of the, your policy um, goals and your, and your wins on policy, that people will always remember the fact of protecting this body and how much you loved and respected uh, the State Senate in Connecticut. So with that, Mr. President, again, I just want to thank you, Senator Fasano, for your work. Thank your family for their sacrifices and uh, it is a pleasure and honor to serve with you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, we know that this is also the speaker's uh, uh, choice to be his last term, his last uh, day of his last regular session but as we said earlier, Mr. Speaker, we hope that we'll all be back in this chamber before too long to take action on legislation uh, and to, uh, to do things that will be uh, uh, important policy victories for the people of Connecticut despite the pandemic that we're dealing with now. But Mr. Speaker, I wanted to also thank you for the extraordinary career that you have had uh, in this legislature as a friend, as a colleague, as an advocate, uh, as someone who has always uh, presented himself in a way that demonstrated respect for the office he held uh, all the way at every step of your distinguished career here. So uh, again, for you, for Senator Fasano, for Representative Claritas, uh, who have decided not to, not to continue, it is a, a triple loss uh, for us so that the, the 2021 session will be, uh, will be hampered at the very start by that, uh, by that loss. So uh, again, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for coming up here today. I know that, uh, that the House is gonna have a similar ceremony to this in a little while uh, to have a formal conclusion to this session. Uh, but again, there was a, a lot of worthy legislation pending, and we're hoping that we can find a way uh, to get back to that 
uh, and enact some substantial things to benefit the people of the state uh, before the year is out. Mr. Speaker, again, congratulations and thank you. Uh, also, Mr. Speaker, we were contemplating sending you a consent calendar uh, to see what, <laughs> what might happen. Uh, Senator Duff was going to uh, rattle off some numbers just in the great tradition we've already had and then uh, get it down to you before you actually adjourn and see what happens with that. We imagine it would drive the lobbyists into a complete frenzy <laughs> to think that we were actually doing some of that, but, uh, uh, but we're not. But again, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, Senator Fasano, again, uh, my dear friend and uh, colleague whom I've known uh, even before we were in the roles that we, that we have now uh, as a distinguished attorney and a fellow member of the bar in New Haven and somebody who has been honorable in every aspect of his life. So, Mr. Majority Leader. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Also, I just thought it would be important for us as a body uh, to um, thank you. I thought it would be important for us as a body, even though we have a limited amount of senators here, but I knew that it would be on a bipartisan basis if we do take a moment of silence uh, for the victims of COVID-19. Uh, we have lost, I believe, about 2,900 of our residents here in Connecticut. And um, since we have not had the opportunity to come together, uh, I think it would be appropriate for us to remember those who obviously have suffered, uh, those who are on the front lines um, working, whether they're in grocery stores or rest stops areas or nursing homes or our medical community and hospitals and every other industry that is working right now. Uh, but remember them, and uh, but especially remember uh, the victims uh, who have uh, died under this uh, terrible uh, disease, COVID-19. So if we could have a moment of silence, Mr. President. moment of silence for someone who many of us knew well, uh, Josh Kovner, a longtime reporter who had covered the Capitol at various times during his uh, career, distinguished career between the New Haven Register and the Hartford Current and other areas where he worked, recently passed away as a, as a loss, not just in terms of uh, uh, the public reporting of the business of the state, but uh, also someone who was a uh, professional journalist of the, of the highest order. So we might have a moment of silence for, for Josh as well. Thank you. Mr. Majority Leader. I will yield to Senator Pisano. Senator Pisano. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Duff, I thank you very much for your kind words as well. I do appreciate it. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with you, not only as the state senator, but as Majority Leader of the state Senate. And uh, we've had a lot of bills we had to deal with and being honest and upfront and frank with each other has led us to a good trail, and I want to thank you so much for that working relationship. Uh, Mr. President, it's my honor to present a motion of CNADA to you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Fasano. It has been moved uh, that the Senate adjourn. Uh, CNADA, is there a comment on the motion? Uh, is there objection to the motion? Seeing no objection or no comment, We'll declare the Senate adjourned CNADA.